Choosing a baby name is a big responsibility. Many consult baby naming books or scour websites and blogs to find the perfect name, while others look to repurpose family names. Sometimes, though, there isn't a whole lot of choosing for parents to do. That's because some foreign governments don't want to leave it up to parents to decide. In fact, your preferred baby name may be one of several that are banned around the world. Sorry, Bond fans. If you're a James Bond fan, you might want to choose a baby name that honors the super spy. But if you're in Malaysia, you won't be able to name your newborn 007 or any number for that matter. Malaysian authorities came up with a list of undesirable names to prevent parents from giving their kids regrettable names, and number names made the list. Authorities also decided parents would not be able to name their children after colors, animals, bugs, vegetables, or fruits. Good thing Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin didn't live in Malaysia when they had their baby girl, Apple. No surnames as given names Although many countries ban names because they're unusual, Norway keeps the use of popular family names in check. The law in Norway says parents are not allowed to name their child a name that is traditionally a Norwegian last or middle name. Exceptions are made if you're from a different culture. Unfortunately for some parents, that means many last names common in Norway, like Hansen, Olsen and Johansson, are off-limits as first names for their new baby. Gender-neutral no-go Naming a baby isn't exactly a simple task in Denmark. Names are not only controlled by law, but they must also be approved by both the Ministry of Ecclesiastical Affairs and the Ministry of Family and Consumer Affairs. According to the New York Times, the Department of Name Research at Copenhagen University helps the Danish government decide which names are supposedly silly or cruel enough to veto. Pluto and Monkey are just a few examples of rejected names. The government has also banned last names as first names similar to Norway and insists that boys and girls have gender-specific names. Since geographical names aren't gendered, they're generally just rejected. Sorry, Chicago and Northwest. Meaning matters. The Mexican state of Sonora has had enough of parents doling out ridiculous names. Before coming up with a list of restrictions of over 60 banned monikers, newborns were leaving hospitals with names like Facebook and Marciana, which is the Spanish word for Martian. Sonora's civil registry director Cristina Ramirez explained to the Associated Press, the law is very clear because it prohibits giving children names that are derogatory or that don't have any meaning and that can lead to bullying. In Sonora, all social media-based baby names are out, as well as names that are also medical procedures, such as the very real case of a boy almost named circumcision, which you guessed it, means circumcision. Stick to the list. Welcome to Iceland a country of less than half a million residents and whose phone book categorizes people by only their first names. That's not Iceland's only naming quirk, however. Parents in Iceland have the option to either choose a baby name from a list of 1,712 approved male names or 1,853 approved female names, or try to get their chosen baby name approved by the Icelandic Naming Committee. Annually, the committee receives around 100 applications and ends up rejecting roughly 50%. One of the biggest reasons for rejection is that Iceland requires all names to be compliant with Icelandic grammar. If a name uses letters outside of the Icelandic alphabet, it won't pass. Abigail, Veronica, Chris and Liam are just a handful of names that have been rejected in Iceland. Watch the character limit. New Zealanders have tried to use some pretty out there baby names. Registrar General Brian Clark explains to BBC News that New Zealand doesn't allow offensive names or those longer than 100 characters. New Zealand has blocked quite a few wild names such as Yeah Detroit and Keenan Got Lucy, but have allowed the names Number 16 Bus Shelter and Midnight Chardonnay for Kiwi babies. Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii was also bestowed upon a baby in the island country. But when the child was nine years old, a judge made her a ward of the court so she could legally change it. No Sarahs in Morocco Sarah was the fifth most popular baby name in the United States back in the year 2000. 
By 2016, it was still ranking in the top 100 at number 57. Despite its popularity in America, a child would not be permitted to be named Sarah in Morocco. Citizens in Morocco must, for the most part, pick a name from a designated list of Arabic names and Sarah is a Hebrew name. Be that as it may, if you were looking for a loophole in Morocco, you could name your child Sarah, spelt S-A-R-A, -A, like how singer Sarah Borales spells her name, as that is both Arabic and on the approved list. Linda is out. In 2014, the Saudi Gazette published 51 new band names in Saudi Arabia. The Civil Status Department explained that some names did not fall in line with social traditions, whereas other names were deemed inappropriate for religious reasons. Gregory Goss, a professor who studies Saudi Arabia, explained to the Washington Post, It's part of a broader crackdown on everything. Part of the crackdown also involved Saudi officials banning a few names of Western origin. That means Saudi parents can no longer choose the names Sandy, Eileen, or even Linda. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.